right, um, Oscars are coming up this weekend, and of course, it'll be celebrities galore. Do you care about celebrities? Are they overrated? Do you care if you meet anybody? Yes, yes and yes. I think they are overrated, but if you have ever interviewed, and I don't wanna say celebrity, but like a big personality, there is an energy to them, I have to say. They, they often live up to their celebrity status. They have this drive and this electricity and this, and it's infectious. It really is, the, you know. Now, but I think with paparazzi, it's too much. It's too much in this day and age. I think you can look up to a celebrity the way you would look up to someone who's inspiring. Uh, maybe they yes. sing a song and you're a musician, so you look up to them. And, but I think, oh my God, they touched my hair and yeah. now I'm never going to wash my hair. That's over. Like Bieber fever. <laughs> Bieber fever. Oh, don't even get me started. But you were at the Grammys. Did you feel, how did you feel when you saw a star from afar? Uh, we saw a few and I was trying to film it. And so for yeah. me, it was more like, I got to get them on my shot right. for my story. Uh, it wasn't so much like, oh, I want, I want to get their autograph. Yeah. I want them what to touch Beyonce my hand. What if Beyonce came up to you and touched your hand? Oh, see, that's no fair. <laughs> It's Beyonce, who I love. Oh, Beyonce me. is Beyonce <laughs> is a god, so oh. that's different. All right, next topic: dressing your pets. No. Putting putting nail polish on them, putting them in a tutu's favorite sweater. Mm. Oh, look at Dan's face. They're animals. Let them be animals. That's why we like them because they're animals. Because they're not humans. We don't like a lot of humans, so let's leave <laughs> animals as animals. <laughs> My dog, Casey, who we had to put down at Christmas, he was, he hated being dressed up. Now we exactly. dressed him up for Halloween every year. And I'm telling you, the year he was a pumpkin, he was so, he literally hung his, oh. his pumpkin head in shame and walked around the neighborhood. Yeah, well, I've always owned cats and you can't dress up a cat. It's like trying to dress up a slinky. <laughs> <laughs> So I've never really had to cross this bridge. I think the only time you should dress up your pet is if you have a cat and get it a, a costume that makes it look like a cute animal instead of that thing, that devil. FYI, and... Dan does not like cats. Oh. <laughs> Who is more honest, men or women? Gosh. Oh, men are a hundred times more honest than women. I agree. The thing is that women don't lie, they lie almost for their own. Yes. Like, I'm, I'm not this age, I'm this age, I'm not this weight, I'm this yeah. weight. But yeah. I also think yeah. women like more drama and that's why they that's lie. Why they it's like that. they get, and I'm not going to generalize, not all women, but I feel like there are women out there who love drama. They love being catty, they yeah. need something to do. See, and guys have the reputation that they're the liars, they're more dishonest. But women, every day, you, you know, women, I'm not speaking about General. these women, but women, <laughs> you're really There's not. three women, <laughs> one man at but this I table. See women, Go you... on, what do we do again? Well, you're not really that tall, and your hair is not really that color, and your eyelashes aren't really <clears throat> that thick, and your lips aren't really that red, and yet those lies are all allowed but, in our world. But aren't men becoming like that too? Yeah. Like, you know, you're not, your hair is really not that color. You're not actually that tan. Your teeth are not that white, and um, those abs may be sprayed on. <laughs> See, I How think do you, you can get abs. You, you can get abs you spray on abs now. Know about yes. the abs spray. You can get the abs Ring spray on, the on abs now. Spray. I'll take that. <laughs> I Go think men are kind of known. They have the reputation to lie more in a relationship yes. situation, where women, it's more about self-image. I've not seen anyone else, honey. Now there are <laughs> lies that are acceptable. When I ask, "Do I look fat in this?" <laughs> I expect him to lie. Maybe you know how the, that saying uh, behind every successful man, there's a woman. Yes. I think a woman just makes, just like men make women better, I think women make men better. We do. Mm. Like we do. teaching their husbands or boyfriends how to dress. Exactly. We are the women. Come on, women. Off come topic. on. <laughs> Why did they make them their husband or boyfriend if they don't like the way they dress in the first place? It's not, it's not the way they, it's tweaking it. It's like train, trying to change mm. the guy. My mom always had this saying, women, Men marry women hoping they won't change. Women marry men hoping they can change them. I think women like changing men. Yes. I don't. I, don't I think, think I do. some women like changing men. I think some women do. Some yeah. do. Yeah. yeah. We all love you, Dan. Really? I'm there trying to go. change you every day, but it's not <laughs> it's working. Not love. <laughs> love. Accept me the way I am. I just want to paint your toenails. I accept you, Dan. <laughs> That's your dog. Thanks, <laughs> She's lying. <laughs> 